Hello and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. My name is Eiken. We're playing Impossible Iron Man Hardcore. Highest difficulty, one safe game and no chance for a second try. Today we're playing a mission called Prison Break. We're still trying to get enough credits because <clears throat> once we're upgrading all of the master crafted weapons we will need a lot of credits to do that plus i also want to buy some more weapon um, uh, attachments so the credits are well needed we're going to go in with our b team torque claymore axiom and shelter again uh, they have done quite well uh, the last time and it's a very different, very mobile playstyle. Uh, given that we only have one encounter, it might be a pretty quick mission. And here we go, uh, right at the breaching point. Uh, so, there are a couple of options. Um, we could either go for a quick scan. Uh, actually, there are no, not a couple of options, there's just the main door. Quick scan. Um, uh, first unit through this entrance is marked, uh, that would be in this case Axiom. And first unit also gets plus one uh, to the encounter, that's fine. Good, we're using quite a few of our options because it's just single encounter really. And look at that. This is almost looking like a very close combat encounter. Dominator takes the first shot. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. Yep, this guy is unconscious. And the trooper here is down as well. All right, we're going to capture him. Well, well, let us pull up shelter. Should have put shelter on position number four, by the way. Nice, very nice. Oh, that was pretty good. Moving over to here. Let's take a free uh, frag grenade. Good. That frees up the rest of the encounter and. Shelter brings the Cobra up here. Plus primes the Python. I think we can't squeeze the Cobra. Snakes can't squeeze themselves, or can they? Oh, they can. Perfect. <laughs> it's snake on snake war. Lovely. It's feeling so good. I almost managed to have kind of this. Per oh wow! Did I just misclick? That was horrible. I wanted to click up there, and I was just saying I almost managed to uh, to get through this unscathed, completely unscathed. And then I misclicked. Could have easily already taken out the the python. Yeah, but whatever. Wow. 
Thanks to our autoloader. We are... We can continue taking two shots. The weapon grip and the shotgun <coughs> make for pretty uh, decent combinations, to be honest. Relocating the prisoner up here. And priming him without killing him. Moving over here. Well, the Berserk is just barely too far in. That's a bummer. And I don't want to kill the prisoner. So we're just going to end the turn here. Okay, Torque does a bit of a bit of a trick here. She releases the bind. She has a weapon grip, so what she can do is she can take out the cobra. And then right afterwards. Well, the Burzo can't kill us. Why don't you lie down for a bit? The wounds do not really matter. There we go. Uh, that is slightly wounded. Um, five enemies captured for the extra intel. And it was a seven minute mission, so I can't release that on YouTube by itself. Which means you guys get lucky, uh, it's a double mission day. Good, 115 credits, 20 intel, and a lot of unrest reduction. Let's take a look. Master crafted submachine guns. That's exactly what we needed. Um, we can continue with master crafted pistols. What is the new place called? UF Oodle. Sounds like pandering. Not as much as Mextra Terrestrial. That place was the worst. Good. We got some wonderful new SMGs. They will actually do a lot more damage now. Let's get an auto key card. We don't have that on the team yet. Scavenger market, superior scope. That's exactly what we wanted. I like the Lonely Herald as well, but boy oh boy, superior scope. Not even going to think about whether or not I want that. We have enough intel at the moment. And it's the final mission to take down Grey Phoenix. So, a couple of things here. In the loadout, who should take the superior scope? I mean, we could give it, theoretically, to Torque, but I feel She's still doing fine. Might as well give it to Shelter. Or now nah, you know what? I think it's not a bad idea. The superior scope here. And the reflex grip. Let's put that onto our shotgun. Although, wait a second. We just upgraded the SMGs. And Torque has an SMG. So, I think we keep that one here. 
Okay, that makes sense. Now, as for the breach items, one of them does not have one. It's taken out a key card with us. And we need to save the other credits because more weapons will be uh, becoming master quality soon. We got a critical mission. Uh, the, the city overall looks fine. Unrest will be reduced after we take down Grey Phoenix. So we should overall be really, really good. And this is really the final mission of Act 2. Take down Grey Phoenix. Minus 2, uh, unrest in Highland Square. Minus 3, city anarchy. Might as well, by the way... use our cooldowns to clear uh, clean out the city and we're going to send the same team uh, a bit modified this time uh, we got enhanced smgs crucial symmetry which is ca considered an smg as well oh wait a second didn't we just create masterwork smgs am i missing something I was under the impression we just upgraded. Ah, yeah, here we go. Yeah, mastercrafted SMG. It has plus two damage. Okay, fair enough. Good. Um, so that works quite well. We got. Both Axiom and Torque with the ability to shoot twice. That's going to be great. And Claymore is, um, has enough um, explosives to do that. Plus we upgraded the um, access card just in case we need to take side entrances. Phoenix overran the starport. I'm routing you to a hangar where they're fueling a ship for launch. Oh, and the room is full of starship fuel. So don't shoot anything with a warning label. Watch where you shoot. You hear that? All of you, I'm not going out like this. Good. First unit through the entrance is marked until the end of the encounter. Well, in terms of being marked, I think Axiom is, is a good first start there. Let's start breaching. Let's start breaching. Okay. So, we got a Dominator. We got a Praetorian. We got a Legionnaire who is aggressive. That's going to be one of our first targets. Uh, Python. Another Paladin over here. Okay. Good. It's easy. We're starting with the ones closest to us. Holy shit. That guy just got knocked out immediately there we go aggressive targets taken care of and let's prime the dominator because I really don't like them Oh, that is going to be bad, guys. I already know what's happening because I played the mission before, but this is going to be bad. In a fun way, though. Good, let's start trying to take out the Dominator. Oh, wow, we're hitting everything today. That's actually pretty good. Uh, the next one, then, would be the Adder. 45%, well... can't really do that much against the Praetorian, unfortunately. Not yet, but it's Torque's turn very soon. There we go. And Torque will do something about the Praetorian. Good, but we do have a grip, so we can take a shot first. And 
that shot will be on the adder. Taking her out nicely. And now it's time to deal with the Praetorian. Really strong character if you give her a grip. Um, how about... We're relocating the python further back so that we can actually kill her. Faceless cannot reach us, the berserker cannot reach us, so... Let's still go for the faceless one. There we go, perfect. Lovely. This will reduce the armor on the uh, Berserker. <coughs> and this should prime him. Almost dry. Hitting the Python. Using our free reload. Hitting the Berserk. Damn, he does a lot of damage. I love it. So one of the things that we can do to optimize damage, by the way, is releasing Bind. Taking a single shot. By the way, shredding him uh, by doing so. And then rebinding. Bit of a trick to up, uh, upgrade the damage just a tiny bit, mid, uh, tiny bit more. Good. We're reloading. I also would want to get the cooldowns back. Because very soon we're fighting against a bit of a tougher enemy. Coming through. Needed the exercise. Be careful. Yeah, I don't want to go too far yet. If I see it, I'll shoot it. Check your zone. Moving. Check your fire. Axiom definitely needs to reload before we start this. Uh, so does Torque. Let's... Watch me move. Oh, she has already reloaded. Okay, fair enough. Heading over there. Well, this should not trigger anything yet. Have to be a bit careful here. Watching my zone. Don't burn through your ammo. Uh, we're fine over here. All right, reload. Weapon full. Perfect, and he can move a bit further.
Best I move. Looking for targets. Claymore moves up. Hostiles will not get through. If only you were a better shot. Torque moves up. Axio moves up. And Shelter moves up. Very soon we should trigger. Yep. There we go. Daddy is home. Oh, hell, they have one of those things. <laughs> Why didn't it trigger? All right, we're shredding it. Thanks to chain shot. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, last time I was surprised. Um, that's why I was extra cautious this time. Maybe a bit too cautious. Okay, it's dead. Yeah, never mind. That was a bit anticlimactic. That's uh they have three ships in the air. Don't let them make it four. This starship has a command module. If it's airborne, it can coordinate the others. A formation of starships could do a lot of damage to City 31. Keep it from launching. Okay, so, surprise, successful shots will breach during stun. That would be uh, one entrance. Another entrance here would be, there are fewer aggressive enemies. All units entering gain a nice little breach bonus. And that's why we brought our keycard with us. Well, hello there. Great to meet you. Taking out the Python right away. And time to shred and take down the Legionnaire. Well, that was easy. Good, we need to make sure that they are not fleeing from here. If they get to that console, they'll launch the ship. Okay, as always, Claymore is a little bit slow. This here is okay, but he would still be... Yeah, well, this here would be very aggressive. Just out of curiosity, can he see someone? No, he can't, so... Wonderful, the target projection doesn't even function properly. Oh, I should have used the med kit, by the way. My bad. He's still injured. Traversing. Nothing risky. Explosive out. 
Yeah, that will hit two of them. The Praetorian will most likely take a move. We lost one round next turn due to the stun disable. And we got to deal with this guy. But I have an idea how, how we can deal with him. All right, moving over. Slithering. Tor gets into position and time get to get the Praetorian off of the target. And give him a little bit of a love hug. All right, same problem with the adder. An easier relocation though. And I think we're taking cover right here. That should be fine. The shelter can still get uh, get out. The only problem is the mind control. Okay, they are now storming in. Fair enough. Let's do a couple of things. First of all, the editor needs to go. Secondly, we're getting ready to remove the Berserk. Oh, that's a mistake, my friend. He's offering a two for one. And I would gladly take that. Good, we've lost one turn. I uh, still would... Oh wow, 90% shot missed. I still would take the shotgun shot, I was about to say. So the mic control is a problem. And it went through. So we gotta deal with the mind control. Before it's shelter's turn. One thing that we can do is release the bind. Enough of that. But it's not the Praetorian's turn anyways. Um Oh, that's that's a bummer. Probably going to lose his uh, one turn shelter uh, will not act. So taking out the Berserk. And and we're rebinding, I suppose. What are her tongue pull options? Hmm. Does that break? Um, no, that does not break um, his mind control. Can we kill the Praetorian is the question, because I can squeeze this guy here and that will stop mind control. Yeah, I think we can kill the Praetorian. Hey, mind control should be... Oh, I remember that was the bug. Ah, uh, I hate that one. So, here's the deal. I should have remembered it because it happened to me earlier. Normally, 
uh, when you deal damage, mind control immediately breaks, right? Um, bind seems to, seems to be the only thing that they have f uh, forgotten uh, in the programming. So bind is not a proper uh, is not a proper way of uh, um, of interrupting. And we're getting our asses handed to us. Holy shit! Yeah, we would need to reload. Yeah, that was a that was a mistake from my side. Albeit a relatively small one or a relatively specialized one, rather it was a big mistake, but a specialized one. I did not remember that uh, that uh, that issue. And I wanted to kill the paladin earlier. That would have completely and uh, um, completely gotten rid of all of uh, the problems here. Didn't work, unfortunately. So I'll take full responsibility for that Pre preventing to take even more damage now that's why we're using some of our consumables and let's hit, hit the face this one Yeah, that was not necessarily the cleanest play. Excavator, what the heck does that mean? I'll figure it out. I'm routing you to starport control. Gray Phoenix still has it locked down. Yeah, sometimes the small game knowledge um, mistakes from just playing it for uh, for a bit, uh, they can cascade. So the correct play would have been um, pulling this guy with a tongue pull. Um, no, not pulling the guy with a tongue pull right away. The correct play would have been uh, killing the berserk and just continuing the bind. About that excavator. Any guesses? Not interested. Fine. During the invasion, the starport was a fleet transport ship. The excavator is the plasma drill beneath it. The excavator burned a big hole in the ground. The fleet transport landed and voila, prefab starport. If Great Phoenix powers it, they could blow the whole starport sky high. So let's prevent that. Okay. We can't side entrance. Oh, we should have brought a second card. Too bad. Um, so we can only take this one here. First unit will be rooted for one round. Well, that uh, stinks. Um, good. Torque is analyzing everything. Shelter is medi patching everything, and so is uh, Axiom. So we should get plus four heal on everyone. Chimera Squad, we will soon depart this world. There is still time for you to leave our vessel. No chance. We're going to. And she cut the feed. Entering. Oh. That was even improved, so six uh, hit points for everyone. Well, it does not look as grim anymore. Good. 
what are we dealing with? A legionnaire, a python, an adder, dominator, and a paladin. Okay, fair enough. Let's start with the aggressive ones. Mr. Python. Again, Mr. Python. We are going to make sure everyone here is dazzled. That way at least uh, the shots that they are having on us might fail. Gosh, these are really bad odds. Might as well take the 50-50. Okay, not even that worked. Okay, so here's the deal. We need to go to these consoles. It's actually quite important. That is actually quite important. And we are going to use shelter in order to do some of that. So we got a Praetorian. What? Okay, that's he's behind the force field, crew chef. Yeah, the force field only comes down once I use both of uh, them. Good. So, how about... We're starting with a little boom. I unfortunately do not have a grenade uh, left anymore. So, I'll leave these guys to their own devices. The Legionnaire is already too difficult to hit. Well, you know what? I mean, what we could do is make him run. Oh, that was a mistake, buddy. Hell yeah! <laughs> that was a mistake. A, costly, a costly one for him. Lovely. Alright, Shelter gets his buddy up. Whom do we want to kill? The Paladin is a good target. Whom do we want to kill? You know what? I think we could go with uh, Paladin. And since he's already here, how about we're getting rid of the Python? There we go. And the Paladin here. Um, we can simply kill him, yes. Good. So far, so good. All right, Torque. Single shot on the faces one. To optimally use her action economy. And tongue pull afterwards on uh, the Legionnaire. Sucks being you, buddy. But we unfortunately need to squeeze you down. Alright, we lost an entire turn of Torque. That's unfortunate. Right before that was the Legionnaire's turn. That was actually a clever play from the AI.
The paladin here might decide to mind merge. If that's the case, we could kill him. Moving up with Axiom. We need to get a bit closer. Well, he decides to not mind much. That is fine for me as well. Reinforcements are on the play, uh, on the table already. Moving another grenade over here. And let's try to get rid of the faceless one. Well, that worked pretty well. I don't want to walk all of uh, that way. Yeah, I think that's the right play. All right, let's start using the terminals. Thank you. Getting the Dominator out of there. Could have also teleported one of our friends to here, to be honest. Torque, unfortunately... Cannot act. Ty trying to clean up. And trying to get rid of the Dominator. Very nice. Good. We also managed to move in. Which is good. Only one Paladin, uh, paladin left. And now the reinforcements are coming. So the important part is we got to deal a bit with the reinforcements, but even more so, got to stop more reinforcements from coming in. So given the layout, I think naturally the two that uh, were that were on the back here might need to deal with the reinforcements. Throwing explosive. Specifically with the ones that are nasty, like the Dominator. Alright, opening the force field. Can we hit this guy? No, we can't. Okay. Hmm. Five to seven. This guy has six. Uh, we would need to deal maximum damage. I don't want to risk that. Might as well just try to take him out with chain shot. Never mind. Let's get Torque into position, because she's way too far back. And let's take out the Paladin. 
Well, we could also take out the python, to be honest. Because the python is going to explode. Alright, Torque's turn. Moving up. Could have moved right behind the wall, to be honest. It would have been just a tiny bit better. I'm wondering why I can't get uh, why I can't directly bind the chief hmm but I'm okay we could shred him he'll get one armor temporarily for every hit that he takes but we permanently shredded his like one armor that he had You know, I don't want to deal with the enemies, so might as well kill kill the last one of them. If we were to place a grenade somewhere, that would happen way before they enter. Okay, fair enough. I think it's a good time then to Just overwatch the scenery. See, that is strange. Not being able to see the ch uh, crew chef. But when we swap him, we'll finally have our turn. I'm not going to. I'm not going to um, change him even further down here. <clears throat> We're instead just going to hit him and hit him really hard. We can again not. Get close to him. I think this is just a visual bug. I'm trying one more time. The bind does not uh, function. That is strange. I could have taken two shots instead. My bad. I wanted to try um, to really get get him bound. Weapon reloaded. Can't do anything with the chief at the moment, but he'll eventually die. Thanks to the enormous firepower of the shot ones, the reinforcements are coming in pretty depleted. No, 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 we're not doing that. Preparation. So that this guy is going to have a bad time. And I like the sticky grenade idea. That forces him back into a proper place. And he literally died. No more reinforcements. I have to move. Keep moving. And how about how 
How about we're soul firing this guy? Moving right onto the grenade. And nothing says I don't like you better than teleporting you on top of a grenade. Especially next to a couple of explosive chests. We're stuck here. Very well. I shall direct all of our forces to stand down. I accept your surrender. It does not matter where you send us. This world remains our prison. All right. That's the end of the Grey Phoenix, guys. Ba Bam. They tried, but they failed. It was a difficult mission, though. A lot of minus to unrest and potentially city anarchy, um, extra credits and 20 intel. Good work, Chimera Squad. Your quick thinking prevented significant damage to City 31. And yet, Grey Phoenix was not trying to flee to the Elders. They wanted to go home, or find a new place to call home. How they went about it cannot be excused. But I will advise XCOM HQ to consider this development. Okay, the progeny and Grey Phoenix obviously weren't behind it. Latest investigation. We've noticed a troubling pattern. Grey Phoenix received external aid in their attempt to overrun the starport. Atlas is no longer a theory. Now that we've foiled two of their plans, expect an escalation. Did you find a connection to Mayor Nightingale's death? Nothing. Focus your investigation on the remaining group of suspects and watch for any connections to Atlas. All right, it's time for Sacred Coil. Let's do that one. Third faction. When former Advent officers find religion or create one. They claim to be the true path for City 31's hybrids, as long as that path involves armed sedition. Good. Time for us to go through the Sacred Coil. And boy, oh boy couple of things, uh, positive things are happening. Number one, we got a promotion on Claymore. He either has heavy shrapnel, upgrade shrapnel bombs to deal damage through cover, I like that one, or upgrade shrapnel bombs to immediately rupture targets uh, within its blast radius upon landing, which uh, removes kind of the small delay. I like both. Um, I like almost the immediate nature a tiny bit better uh, because sometimes you can't wait uh, the few turns. So we're going to go with that. Uh, the cover still will be an issue from time to time. Um, yeah. It's a tough one. I actually like that choice because it is either you hit more targets with it or you're immediately hitting. I think we're going for the immediate hits for now. Got a handful of resources, 70, 60, and 55. We're looking good. And by looking at the map, um, yeah, thank you for Thank you for telling us how unrest works. Uh, we've played it quite a bit. Um, so yeah, the investigation of Sacred Coil will be our next mission, guys. Uh, it's probably going to be a bit of a faster one, but we're at the end of today's mission. So two chapters um, are done. 
and we're now on our way to go into act three of the game thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the content please uh, leave a like and a comment down below and see you soon bye bye